was many decades ago, when I was a much younger man. It was a nice town, called Rain and Holler, slightly upper class, a bit white collar. There was a library in the center, barely standing as you could see, due to the internet and all the advances in technology. All the problems of any town, the addicts, the greedy, keeping everyone down. There was a tiny park with a fountain in it, but it never seemed to be completely finished. A rundown theater with old and new flicks, some of which could make you sick. The people were like anyone you might know, an old couple always on the go. The business types talking about their fortunes, making it seem like they're important. The hoodlums doing anything at their whim, with the barber always shouting about getting a trim. Officer George could calm this storm, but what came later took a different form. I remember as if it happened yesterday. The wind picked up in the strangest way. The clouds opened up and dropped bombs. Chubby rain that came in big blobs. The rain formed hunks and chunks coming to the ground. With a monstrous roar and crumbling sound, the pieces formed their worst fear. Their problems and weakness were finally here. They couldn't stop it on this date, for their time had come. They had reached their fate. It happened so fast, they came flooding the town, destroying everything, bringing it to the ground. They moved like lightning, striking through torsos, leaving none behind, not a morsel. There was nothing that anyone could possibly do, in slow motion, taking only a second or two. I can't remember much after that. The lights went out, completely black. A few more battled for their lives, but in the end, they too took the dive. In the end, they took one down, but it wasn't enough to save the town. No one could have started to tell us that it was cloudy with a chance of chaos. And that's all. I can really recall. Well, thank you very much for all your time and such. I'll be getting back to you when the piece is done, so thanks again and have a good one. There is no real way to know how much of that is true. The long-term signs of dementia show through. He's the only survivor of a tragic massacre that has no evidence, proof, data, or record. The senility and long-term injuries that show proves that he may not even know.